What it is with y'all, you already know it's Top Kept 100 in the building. You tune into the Real Fear TV, man. Salute to all the 100 mob, man, and all my supporters, man. Y'all real appreciate it. Y'all make sure y'all stay in tune with me, man. And we gonna make it happen as we always do. You know what I mean? Peace and blessings to everybody. You already know how I'm giving it up. Now, we want to talk about Blue Benji Kobe. You see what I'm saying? And, you know, we want to talk about a few things that occurred and things that we've been seeing across the Internet spectrum. And with all of this being released, you know, it's a rest to a lot of natives of Louisiana that, you know, have him as being one of their loved ones. Now, as far as this whole situation that we're seeing going on, we just got to cut to the chase and just ask everybody, when will it stop? You know what I'm saying? You know, now, what do we do? You know what I mean, actually? You know what I mean? I want to ask a few questions. I want to take it slow right now because it's like we talk about the beef. You know what I mean? We amplify it. You know what I mean? We like it in music videos. We like it in, you know, all the back and forths and, you know, the energy it gives off. You know what I'm saying? It gives us some type of, you know, fight of spirit when we're listening to it. You see what I'm saying? And that's what the fans love and some that don't even got to go around it and they can experience it from afar. Now, we all understand that, but what we got to talk about is how many lives are going to be stripped before we sit here and take a stand and say that, okay, this ain't cool. You know what I'm saying? If we're going to do it, we're going to do it with people that we need to be doing it to. And I'm going to leave it like that. But instead, you know what I'm saying? People want to, you know, amplify. And then when things like this go on, y'all want people to rush to the media to do stories about it. And it's no different from the other stories. And that's why they all sound the same. You know, at this point, people are being desensitized to the fact that people are being hit up and people are being flipped and people are being, you know, got around the city, you know, the state of Louisiana and every other city and state around America. Let's not, you know, exempt anybody else out because at the end of the day, we got to look at ourselves, bro, and look at the deaf culture that we push at the end of the day because that's all it is. Now, I'm not going to sit here and try to preach to y'all, but I am going to say this. A lot of people, when things like this happen, want to go back. They want to listen to the music. They want to show all this love about something that they don't even care about, really, before it happened. You see what I'm saying? And that's what we are seeing right now. And this is why all the videos are so watered down nowadays, because nobody wants to come from their real, you know, scenery or how they see it. You see what I'm saying? They want to, you know, be politically correct and don't want to say how they feel about the situation. They feel like if they call this lame, they're not in the know and they're not cool. Well, nigga, I don't want to be a part of the cool game. You know, a lot of these niggas is bougie. A lot of these niggas never had paper before. So, you know, they run around here and they run with the reckless attitude into things called karma, reoccur, and it come back to get them. You see what I'm saying? Then we got to do videos like this. Not to say that Blue was like this. You see what I'm saying? You know, he did promote a deaf culture. You see what I'm saying? But I'm not talking about him per se. I don't want niggas to try to single nobody out. I'm talking about us as a community, bro, and what we push and what we got to be careful of what we push. And then when things like this happen, how about somehow making it a change? Because it's going to look better, nigga, squashing it and making music and letting it go. That's more gangster than anything. It's people in the mob that done clip other people that got passy. You know what I'm saying? Now, whether for business reasons or not, that is what it is. We don't want to go into that. But we talking about us right now. Now, all I got to say is this, man. I'm not trying to hear about why the man got clipped. You see what I'm saying? Because everybody keep talking about it's this person, it's that person. Oh, he was BBG. He was this and that. Man, shut up, nigga. Know what I'm saying? Know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, y'all just want to throw niggas' names in it. Then when the feds come grab y'all popcorn and sit back and kick your feet up. If you don't like what I said, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. That means you guilty, nigga. It is what it is, bro. And we all need to change, bro. But at the end of the day, I want to send my condolences to his family. You know what I mean? Condolences or whatever you want to say for a nigga try to correct me. You know what I'm saying? I want to send that out to his fam and everybody that supported them or whatever. And, you know, hopefully we don't see none of this occur again, man. And that's really all I got to say about it. I don't really want to go deep into the story, bro. Because it's senseless at the end of the day. And when we going to wake up that they got money that they could be enjoying instead of you know, somebody enjoying it for me, if you get what I mean, or if you catch what I mean. I'm out.